Have you ever dreamed about walking across the unique terrain of planet Mars? How about playing in the middle of your favorite video game? Or maybe it's just needing to fix your sink at home, but the plumber doesn't have time to come to your house. All of these small things and not so small things can be accomplished with one new product created by Microsoft. This product is called the HoloLens. So today I'm going to inform you about the HoloLens. This is relevant to you because if you're a video gamer, these are something you could use someday to have a more interactive experience. But if not, you can also use them in your own household or for Skyping in to business meetings when you're in your career. In order to gain more knowledge about the Microsoft HoloLens, it is important to know what the HoloLens is, their main purposes, and the pros and cons of using them. So first, let's discuss what the HoloLens is. The HoloLens is a smart headset that mixes holographic images with the real world. In an article in USA Today in January 2015, it tells us that the HoloLens are used by moving your head, using your voice, or hand gestures such as an air tap, which is also equivalent to a mouse tap on a computer. As you can see, they look like ski, go ski goggles, and this article also tells us that, and that um, 3G objects look like they're in the same room as you. As I stated previously, the HoloLens are created by Microsoft, but more specifically, they were invented by Alex Kitman. Alex Kitman joined the Microsoft team in 2001, and in Time Magazine in May of 2015, it tells us that he also had a hand in creating the Xbox Connect. In the same article, it also states that Alex was named one of the top 25 nerds of this year. So now that we've talked about what the HoloLens is, let's talk about what their main purposes are. There are three main purposes to the HoloLens. The first purpose is video game usage. The most popular game that the HoloLens have been used for thus far is Minecraft. In an article in January of 2015 in USA Today, it states that that is the most popular video game as of right now, but they're hoping to expand it into more video games eventually. And the University Wire, an article in February 2015, also says that usually Minecraft is played on a screen, but now with the HoloLens technology, you can play it on your table in the comfort of your own home. You can build your town just like you would on the computer screen, but this way you can use your hands and you can still interact with all the same people that you would, but just in a more personal way. The second purpose of the HoloLens is for Skype and video calls. In a USA Today January 2015 article, they share a personal story about a woman who needed to fix her sink, but the technician was too busy to make it to her house, so he Skyped in to her home and showed her exactly how to fix the sink with her own tools. The third and final purpose of the HoloLens is the ability to go on 3D virtual tours. In the Pasadena Star, in January of 2015, it shares that Microsoft has been working with NASA. They are working together to create the most accurate version of a holographic version of planet Mars. So now that we've looked at the main purposes of the HoloLens, let's look at the pros and cons of using them. <laughs> there are two pros and two cons. The first pro of the HoloLens is they can be used by the average human being. In the International New York Times in January 2015, they share that because the HoloLens are not too technologically advanced, that normal human beings can use them. We see evidence of this because you can use them for video games and also normal household um, events. The second pro is that the HoloLens is paving the way for space exploration. In the Pasadena Star, January 2015, NASA and Microsoft have been collaborating to create a holographic version of Mars. This also has allowed scientists from all around the world to put their knowledge together and create that most accurate version of Mars in order to get us there sooner. The first con is that people may never leave their homes when they start using the Microsoft HoloLens. In the New York Times, January 2015, researchers share some concerns that because the HoloLens can offer so many different things that people may not feel like they need to leave their home. The second con is that there will be less human interaction. A quote from the same article states that as screens have proliferated, the amount of actual uncumbered reality we experience seems endangered. 
Researchers also fear that people, c because they can Skype in with people from all around the world and it's in their own home, that they may not feel the need to meet with people and have face-to-face -face interaction with them. So today I have explained what the HoloLens is, their three main purposes, and the pros and cons of using them. The most important thing for you to remember is that because the HoloLens can be used by the average human being and they have practical uses, you could use the HoloLens someday in your life. So now that you are more aware of all of the possibilities that the HoloLens provides, just imagine what you could accomplish. Thank you.